Hello, welcome back to the Ball Games 4K YouTube channel, and this is a channel where we give you reviews, playthroughs, unboxings, and we generally talk a load of bollocks about tabletop gaming in general. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a very basic party game. We're going to be talking about Blockbuster, and in this game, you will be having a head to head round. You'll be trying to name as many movies as possible in, out of a certain category, and then you'll move on to the movie round where you will be acting out movie titles. You'll be quoting from movies and you'll be using one word to describe a movie. And in this video, we're going to be giving you a very brief overview of the rules. We'll be telling you what we do like, what we don't like, and then we'll come back and we'll tell you whether or not Blockbuster is worth playing in 2020. So remember, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel. Leave a comment in that section down below. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you after this. Board games, 4K. So, Blockbuster, how do you play this game? So, Blockbuster is split into two phases. You've got the head-to-head -head phase, and then you've got the movie phase. So, in the head-to-head -head phase, you will split into two teams where you want to name films that are set in snow, or films that begin with the letter S, or films with bears in, or something like that. Loads of different categories. And then you'll press the buzzer, and you will have 15 seconds to name a film that is part of the category and then you'll press the buzzer and then the next person will have 15 seconds and you'll keep doing this back and forth until somebody can't name something there's a 15 second timer when that runs out the head-to-head -head round is over and winning the head-to-head -head round essentially gives you uh, an advantage in the movie round so if you won the head-to-head -head, you'll draw the top six cards of the movie deck and you'll choose three cards for your team and you'll hand the trash over to the other team and what you'll do you'll look at the car park board and you'll see that you've got a one word answer you've got a quote it answer and then you've got an actor answer and you'll be putting these cards out onto the car park depending on what you think your partner or your team is going to do well at yeah so once everybody's placed out all their cards then you will hold down the timer for two seconds until you hear the 30 second buzzer and then you'll be trying to get your team or your partner to guess what's on the cards in the car park you know what i mean and you'll notice on the back of each card there's a different genre so each genre has got a different color and you need to collect eight cards of all the different genres to win the game and there's a couple of extra rules where if you do manage to guess all of your cards you can move around to the other side of the car park and steal other people's cards if you've won head to head and also you can always trade in three cards of one genre or one color to steal one of your opponent's completed cards so that's a nice little thing so that's basically how you play blockbuster so what do we like about blockbuster so the first thing that we like about this game is the presentation. It's fantastic. I mean, it comes in a VHS case. It's got wonderful components. It's got a nice little car park board. It's got a little stand with a blockbuster sign on it. Okay, the cards aren't that great quality. They're a little bit flimsy, but for the price and the nostalgia value you get from it, the production quality is absolutely astounding. So the second thing that we like about Blockbuster is the head-to-head -head portion of the game. It's actually really exciting. It's quick fire, isn't it? So you're pressing the button and it's like it's got one of the, the buzzer acts like a sort of a chess clock. So when you've taken your turn you'll be passing it over and part of the game is that your team or your partner can do hand gestures or mimes to try and help you think of films that might match the category but they can't talk you see so you can see out the corner of your eye that your partner or your team are frantically miming all these different movies and it puts you off in a sense but so whilst on paper it might seem really easy you'll you'll, you'll kick yourself for not guessing the right amount of movies when when you're actually in the feck of this round it's very very difficult to, to think very real quick about what films match these categories and, and we really like that about this game so the third thing that we like about blockbuster is the way that the game allows you to nick other players cards so not only can you in the head-to-head -head round if you completed all your cards you can go around the back of the car park and steal your opponent's videos in a sense it also allows you to trade in extra cards that you you might not need to nick your opponent's stuff so that's a genius option the game could have just meandered through this round where you're collecting cards that you don't really need but it does mitigate the fact that you might have excess amount of genre cards that you don't really need and we love that so what don't we like about blockbuster so the first thing that we don't like about Blockbuster is the way the game sort of falls flat in the second round. And there's a lot of these sort of moments 
where you're going to be staring at each other blankly because there's just not enough information that's available to allow you to guess the films correctly. Because, for instance, like if, if you don't know what the film that's on the card, then you're not going to be able to sort of accurately convey any information to your teammates, right? And we had this case where we played it the other day, and my mum had Anchorman on one of the cards, and she didn't even know what the movie was. So she was trying to sort of make these gestures that were as close to the, what she could read on a card as possible. It didn't really work. My dad was just sat there looking at her going, I don't know what the hell you're going on about. And there were periods of the game in the second round where we went through a few rounds where we couldn't guess any of the cards at all. And it was just, oh, you know, it's almost like the head-to-head -head round was infinitely more exciting than the second round. So the second round sort of makes you, sort of falls flat in a sense. And it's it's not as exciting as the first round. And that, that's a bit of a problem. So the second thing that we don't like about Blockbuster, it might be a case that it's a little bit too long for what it is. And the fact you've got to collect all eight, but the, the, one of the flip side of that, you do have the option of stealing your opponent's cards, which sort of does try, not successfully, but does try to mitigate the problem that the game would have where it would just go on and on and on and on. And then sometimes it does that. So the third thing that we don't like about Blockbuster is the lack of replayability. There's a tiny little stack of head-to-head -head cards, but there's a, there is a big stack of these movie cards, but it's a bit misleading because you're going to be going through six of them each round and it doesn't take long to burn through the whole deck. And once you've gone through all those head-to-head -head cards, it's just a case of replaying what you've already seen. So this game would benefit from an expansion. Maybe they could do like a, a, a sort of the DVD expansion. Who knows? Big Potato, if you're watching this, might be a good idea. It's my royalty payment right there. It suffers from a, what a lot of these games, these party games suffer from, is the lack of content and the fact you could just be burning through these decks really, really quickly, especially when you first get the game. You're just going to want to burn through this game real quick. So there is a distinct lack of content in this game. So to summarise, is Blockbuster worth playing at your next party in 2020? So we're going to say, yes, it is a really, really fun game. We had loads of laughs on this, especially with the head-to-head -head portion of this. It's like a, a mashup of Geek Out and sort of Monica's Time's Up. You've got the head-to-head, -head, guess as many things as possible of the sort of Geek Out thing. And then you've got the charades aspect and the one-word aspect of Monica's slash Time's Up, you know. So it's a nice blend of that. The only problem with this is that the head-to-head -head is actually more exciting than the second portion, the movie portion, because there's obviously there's moments of silence and bewilderment when if you don't know the movie or if you can't guess correctly so the first portion is definitely stronger than the second portion so we're going to give this game a three out of five we like the nostalgia value of this and we like the excitement of the head to head portion overall it's a really really fun party game that for the price I mean you can't go wrong with this at the moment at the time of recording there was a voucher code that you can use on amazon for this game i think it was chapman 20 we'll leave a little thing underneath down here somewhere if it's still valid you can get i think it's four pound off this game on amazon but if it, it might not be valid when by the time you get to see this who knows but um yeah this that's blockbuster remember if you are new here then please consider subscribing to this channel leave a comment in that section down below give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time